Today on FAF YouTube, we're very proud to be showcasing one of the most exclusive hypercars ever to be made. In fact, only 100 of these have ever been built in the world. Every last detail on this Pagani Waira Roadster has been masterfully crafted by hand. It's a true piece of art. The design and performance of this vehicle simply cannot be duplicated. And today, we'll be chatting with Chris Green, General Manager of FAF Pagani of Toronto and National Brand Manager of Pagani Canada. Everyone, please welcome Chris Green. Chris, let's talk about the Pagani Waira Roadster. So much history behind this car, elegance, class, luxury. Um, tell us about what Pagani really represents and a little bit of history about the brand. Well, thank you, Jacqueline. I think you've captured all the elements, so my job is done. <laughs> I mean, it's simple. It's, yeah. um, it's arguably one of the most ex exclusive brands, ultra high premium luxury supercar that's available here in Canada. Uh, again, represented through FAF, and we're sitting in the uh, Pagani of Toronto showroom right now. So if you take a quick look around before I get into this car, I mean, we can really see that this showroom and what's so exciting about it is actually emulates what you'd see at the factory. Very, very similar in terms of the brick design, the layout, it gives you that piazza feel in the center of Italy, which is really romantic and something that I enjoy coming to. So of course we have proper espresso here. We have our bespoke lounge where we can talk about the cars and of course clothing, apparel, and so on that would be very exclusive to the store and available to the public. So I know you want to hear about this. Everybody's very excited to hear about the car. So this is a 2018 Pagani Waira Roadster. Uh, what's so special about this car compared to the coupe is that actually with the roof removed, the car is the lightest Roadster ever produced um, by any supercar brand. The, the roof itself is a, is a hard um, single piece portion of the car that doesn't stay with the car as you drive it. However, you do have a removable accordion type roof that you could replace on the vehicle should uh, you you know you're dry, you should you be cruising down the gardener as an example and you fall under rain conditions right so i could show you guys a little peek of the roof after and show you the process of what that looks like but really really neat ultra lightweight as a matter of fact it weighs nothing i'll show you here quickly um to kind of get this going but you can see with two hands i mean it, it typically takes two people to mount the roof but it slides in the back clips in the front and off you go wow and of course transparent you can see me through it so it always gives you that open cockpit feel with the roof on or off. And how did they make the car so light? Is carbon fiber, because this is covered in, it's almost all carbon fiber. It, it is 100% carbon fiber. So this car, even if it's painted, it would be a carbon fiber paneling. Every element of the chassis is actually carbon titanium. So they have, an, or they have integrated and pioneered a titanium weave within the carbon fiber chassis itself. So when we have a moment, we'll take a close-up look at that, and really see kind of the bling element to it, but it's a functional bling. It uses this titanium weave that strengthens the cockpit, allows us to use less carbon fiber, and produce a, a car that only weighs about 2,820 pounds. Incredible. Yeah. The performance behind this car, like what kind of driver would be attracted to a Pagani? It's a tough one. I mean, yeah. I think it's an, it's an out, of, out of this world experience, ultimately. Uh, when people ask me what it's like to drive a Pagani, I've been fortunate to spend a little bit of time in, in a few, and it, it, it's unlike anything else I've ever experienced. Mm -hmm. It's romantic, it's engaging, it's, it's almost sensual, if that makes any sense. It's unlike anything I've ever driven where cars are so perfect and the, the drivability is so um, predictable that you kind of lose that connection, that touch with you know, a supercar. And what people like to have in a supercar is something that kind of keeps them on their toes, mm -hmm. something that keeps it romantic and something that you can, you can enjoy an ambiance if it's nighttime, daytime, doesn't really matter. Because with this car, apart from the drivability and the excitement and the power and the lightweightness of it, it's, it, it creates this, this cinema feeling when you're inside and you get all the changing lights and the different colors depending upon how you want to play with the settings and so on. And of course, with the V12 twin turbo, which we'll be able to talk about, the, the, the induction pull or the, the pull of the turbos and you hear them winding and the wind almost coming over your head is unlike anything I've ever experienced. You're getting me excited. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're painting a really nice picture here that it's not just about a car. It's, it's a true experience, lifestyle, it's so much more. It evokes emotion, right? Exactly. Yeah. Um, again, it's all about the experience. You're not coming in here today to say, hey, Chris, Jacqueline, I want to buy a, a purple Pagani. You're coming in here today because you're engaging in a lifestyle. Mm. The great thing about the Pagani brand is you become part of a family. You become tight-knit with Horatio Pagani himself, the founder, the creator of these beautiful cars. You come close with his son and you spend time with 
Christopher or Leonardo or his wife Christina, you get to travel the world and send your Pagani to these global rally events, glo uh, well, globally. Yeah. Um, and I've had the fortunate ability to be, uh, be part of a couple. I went to one in Italy, I went to one in Japan. And just the experience of celebrating, for example, Horatio's 60th birthday in a restaurant in Tokyo. I mean, how do you beat that? Oh. But that's what's so neat about it is that we embrace. We embrace our clientele and it's so much more than just, here's your keys, enjoy the car and please come see us for service. We really, we really get them involved from start to finish and it's, it's a journey that you can't really experience with any other brand like Pagani does it. Every last detail has a purpose and a reason and has been branded Pagani and the thought and detail that goes into it is incredible. What are some things you could show everybody at home that they may not, they might, may not know about the Pagani? There's a lot. Um, yeah. There's a lot of little details. Um, again, we talked about the carbo titanium tub or the chassis itself. Once they start opening up the car, I've kind of pre-opened it a little bit to make ease of access that much more convenient. But as we start opening up the clamshell and just having an opportunity to look at the, the, the element, the details and the work of art that he creates, everything done, welded by hand. It even says on the bottom of the car, saldato al mano, which means uh, welded by hand. Um, you almost want to put this in a museum. You almost feel like this sits in the garage and you have to protect it in the box. But the funny right. thing is about that is that I'd say 80% of our customers and our drivers will put 10,000 kilometers, 15,000 kilometers, drive their cars as they properly should be, or they, as they should properly be driven. Wow, um, it's breathtaking to look at. Yeah. Uh, and, and then let's, so we, let's talk about the engine. Should we start with the engine? Because I think people want to know what's under the hood, right? Part of the beast, right? That's right. So the great thing about Pagani is that they still push and promote the V12 engine. Yes, it's gone from naturally aspirated to turbocharged. Uh, from the first Pagani Zonda that was produced in 1999 or when it was unveiled to the world, V12 engine. We still deliver a V12 engine. Unfortunately, with everything that's happening in the evolution of the world and the uh, requirements for automotive manufacturers, the V12 will probably take a, take a side uh, or a seat on the bench at some point. However, Pagani have found a way to continue delivering this product to the customers. So Pagani is very, very good at creating strong, build, uh, strong partnerships and leveraging the brands of the experts in the industry. So in this case, AMG from Mercedes are the ones that hand build and produce every single engine on a Pagani. Every single engine being 100 cars in a production cycle, not very many, but when you take a, when you take a look in, on the back of the engine, and Matt will be able to kind of zoom in on this later, but Michael Kubler, for example, was the one that produced this engine. He was the one that spent the time to ensure that it met all the standards required by AMG and by Horatio and his team. Fantastic. So that's the engine. We love that. Yep. Horsepower is? Horsepower, you're over 750 horsepower. Right. It's, it's enough <laughs> for a 2,800 pound car. It's incredible. Yeah. And then the interior of this car is definitely something I've never seen. It's, it's incredible. Can you talk about the finishes that we see here? 100% retro modern. That's, that's the best way I can explain yes. it. You got the retro feel of the dials. You got the retro feel of the shift knob, I mean, the shift knob is built of over 60 pieces to create this ambiance or this, this experience clicking through the gears, even though it has an automatic, uh, an automated manual transmission, which means you can either paddle shift, yeah. shift up, shift down, or use the gear lever like a sequential gearbox in a old Porsche race car. As an example, it just adds to that experience and that, ro that, that romantic approach as you drive in a vehicle like this. Um, every, every car is just bespoke, so you'll never have two Paganis that are exactly the same. And the same goes for the interior. So for yourself, Jack, and you're wearing a cream eggshell <laughs> dress, we can yes. definitely integrate that into the car. I could integrate some of these crazy animals that I have on my shirt wow. into the vehicle. It really depends on the customer's desire and needs. And they, they must spend, with that bespoke experience, months and months designing their dream car, right? At least months. At least. Yeah, I mean, it, it definitely is a special experience. We start with the configurator here. Mm -hmm. We get the initial input from the customer, what it is they're kind of looking for. Then at that point, we encourage to go visit the factory with the customer where they get to spend time with the design team, see other cars, see other generation Paganis, deep in that experience of where they, they feel or their vision is, is captured through a render. And then once the, ca the, the render is captured, the customer confirms this is the exact spec that I'd like, we sign off on it, and then we wait the, the required time to have the car produced. Fantastic. And then the front of the car, yeah. tell us about that because it has such a such a, a presence, right? I mean, when you see sort of the flared mirrors at the front, you know Pagani. So I keep talking about romantic. I think yes. Horatio, um, an Argentinian, however, now Ita Italian raised Argentinian, <laughs> or an Argentinian raised by an Italian family, moving right. back to Italy, 
um, is a very romantic man by, by nature. And you take a look at the shape of this mirror, what's so special about it, although they're homologated to be a little bit bigger for North America compared to the European or rest of the world standards, is it actually mimics the shape, the, the teardrop shape of his wife's eyes. Oh. Which is, I think, an incredible story. Um, I think it's a really neat component of the vehicle that not a lot of people are aware of. Yeah. I had no idea. That is so sweet. And the great thing about this car that a lot of people don't know about is that it actually has active aerodynamics. And so what these do, as you're driving the vehicle, they're in continuous motion. They move depending upon what the car is being demanded as from the driver. So let's say you're going through a left-hand corner on the racetrack. The right side, this side, will mm -hmm. actually lift up and allow the front end to compress using the aerodynamics of the vehicle to actually push the car to the road wow. a little bit further. Yeah. Talk about intuitive, right? This car is made to drive with you. Yeah. Which is really cool. It is. Well, they call it the Waira is the god of wind. So it's meant to flow with the wind. Chris, I have to say, this is the first time I've sat in this vehicle and wow, it, as soon as you sit in, it's, it's a true different experience. Out of this world, really, right? It is indeed. Yeah. It's exactly that, yeah. Let's talk about connectivity because that's important to people. Can they have their, their iPhone connected and <laughs> all of that stuff? Funny enough, they can, yeah. yeah. So this car is integrated with uh, Apple CarPlay. Yeah. So it's easy to connect your phone as you would in any other vehicle. If it was a fat Volkswagen or a, a Golf from fat Volkswagen or whatever the case may be. Yeah, it's um, the infotainment system in this car is incredible and super intuitive. Nice. And then all of, I was asking you before, all of the lighting here that we see on the dash can be customizable as well. What else can be customizable from the interior? Uh, interior wise, I mean, once we start talking about the bespoke options of your finishing the leather you use, the stitch color you use, um, the carbon fiber accent pieces, if you want them to be purple to match the exterior of the car, if you want them to be black, uh, right. customizable within the infotainment system itself is you're pretty limited to, I guess, the light and the, the color you choose for your, for your interior lighting. You can have it rotate through, I think it's 20 different colors of lights. Wow. Um, apart from that, you can just adjust the seat height and you can adjust the, uh, the, the steering wheel position. Seat height is adjusted here. Seat height would be adjusted right. through this knob. It's, uh, it's definitely a big topic of, uh, <laughs> of, or a big question I get quite frequently. So yeah, it's definitely there to adjust the, the height of the seat. In terms of the finishing on the seats, what are we dealing with here? So in this car in particular, you have a dark gray car, uh, Alcantara finishing. Alcantara is a synthetic material uh, to emulate or simulate um, uh, suede finishing. Yeah. It's just a lot more durable. This is actually used in high performance vehicles because it's also lighter than leather. And then of course, in the center of the seat, you have this beautiful black leather with the uh, viola uh, stitching to, to match the exterior of the vehicle itself. To match, very nice. Anything else that stands out for you in terms of the interior that you want to tell people about? Uh, the customer chose to have all the bright work, so all the finishing of the metals uh, done in a black finish to, to match the exterior. You can get it in titanium, you can get it in silver and of course in black uh, with the Wyber, BC, Wyber Roadster. A neat feature that we did do, decide to do to integrate on the interior of this car was to have the Roadster logo, instead of being black, to do a gold uh, to match, of course, some of the dials that we have in the vehicle, which are customizable, of course, in gold in this case, and also to match the gold accents of some of the aluminum pieces and uh, finishings around the car, especially on the suspension components. It really ties everything together and makes it stand out. I love that. Yeah, it's a little bit of the exterior and the interior and vice versa, yeah. So Chris, I have to ask you, you're going away for the weekend and you want to pack, but you also want to bring your car. Where do you store things in this car? I knew you'd ask, I'm ready. So the car does come with a bespoke luggage set. It is an option that you can choose. And essentially what it does was mimic the interior of the vehicle itself. So we talked about the Alcantara finishing before and the custom viola stitching. This also captures the, uh, the black leather that we have in the interior of the vehicle. So every car would come with this if you chose the option, two standard bags, which would fit enough for a day anyways. Yeah. And then of course, when we start opening up the vehicle itself, then on the inside of the, or the interior of it, we have a garment bag which would allow you to store a coat, a dress, whatever the case may be, one for the driver, one for the passenger. And also behind the seat, we have two more bags, which is enough for my hair products, I think. <laughs> <laughs> a couple personal, personal items. Very nice, I did not expect that. How cool is that? So Chris, tell me how FAF here in Canada also represents Pagani in Canada. So part of the global network, we are the assigned dealer for, uh, for Canada. Standing in our flagship store, Pagani of Toronto, as it's known, uh, the majority of the work and the dealings are hap happen here. However, we can represent the brand through our stores in Vancouver, Calgary, 
uh, as well to, of course, facilitate customers and their requirements. Very nice. Thank you so much for taking the time today to chat. And I think that was such a really great extensive walkthrough. And I'm sure there's even more you could discuss on this car, but I appreciate it's that. It's endless. I mean, this is something that brings me a lot of joy. And I do thank you for taking the time. And I look forward to welcoming you guys back, hopefully with new product and new cars. But it's always a pleasure, Jacqueline. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching our YouTube video today with Faf Pagani of Toronto. You can follow them on Instagram or for more details, head to fafauto.com. We'd love it if you have any questions and you could submit them in the comment section. We'll be happy to get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks for watching.